Welcome back to Weasel News. Uh, today we have a headlining story. This is your CEO, DJ James, and I'm here with Mr. Picard. And go ahead and take it away. Tragedy struck Los Sanos yesterday. On the very night yesterday, be it many hours ago, um, a deranged man by the name of Rupesh Rickett decided that he had enough. The man flew his plane at the casino. Luckily, from uh, witness reports and onlookers, it looks like the man hit some palm trees and never hit the casino building. Fortunately, no vehicles were damaged and no one was killed in the explosion except Rupesh Rickett. After a thorough investigation into Mr. Rupesh Rickett, the FIB can say of confidence we have determined his means and his motives, and we have determined how he did what he needed to do. Rupesh Rickett was a deranged man. He was a loner. From people who knew him, albeit briefly, they said he was a bit of a lunatic, a bit of the kind of person you want to keep your kids away from and what not. All we know is that in the hours leading down to what happened, he was saying he was going to get revenge, and he attempted to. The FIB traced what we could based on the evidence. We discovered his body from the plane crash. We found how he got into the airfield. We found his Honda Civic. It was abandoned on the airfield, and it was we found where he got onto the plane and where he took it. We believe inadequate security at the airfield allowed him to steal a plane. We do not know where he got his pilot's training or any additional facts. We just know that this man was disenchanted with society and he was a broken man. And a broken man who has nothing left to lose is a very dangerous man. And unfortunately, he decided that he had to do what he had to do, albeit ill-advised, inconceivable, and undeniably full of vice. He jacked a plane and took his own life, missing the casino. All over a dispute over losing his money at the casino. So at this time, we have determined he acted alone. He had no accomplices, and it was only a last desperate, a less desperate... Uh, act of vengeance out of a broken man. So, this ends the special report. Next question. Uh, so, this is the first time I've really seen uh, someone take, you know, this amount of violence over, you know, losing in the casino. Is this a common thing, or is this like a rare occurrence to see him? Well, I wouldn't call it a common case, but the probable but the improbable can always be probable. All it takes is just to push someone to their limits, and you do not know what they will do. I do not know if we will see more. We may see more. But this man acted alone. I don't believe it was much of a political statement. I was disbelieve it was act of vengeance and revenge for what he could not control. Yep. Uh, do we know if he has any other family members in the city at all, or was it just him? We do not know. He's, he seemed to be an immigrant to these United States. Uh, he did not have much friends. Uh, and, yeah. Seemed like he had, he had no one involved with him. It was all on his own. Alrighty. Well, I, miss, I, can, I have to appreciate you, Mr. Picard, for giving me this... Uh, story you know let me be able to be here on this press release uh all i would like to say is uh make sure to check up on anyone that you know you know mental health awareness is always key because you can never know what people really have left to lose like in this case right here this was your ceo for weasel news dj james and we're out